All right, so our goal here today is um, we're going to make a portion of the basketball game just to get you into Tinkercad and used to some of the features and functions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the hoop. You can see up here in the drawing, two and a half inches um, by two and a half inches with a one and a quarter radius up here in the front, a uh, one and a half inch diameter circle right smack in the center that we'll cut through there. And then uh, we're going to do the backboard with the hole where the pole would be placed into it. So let's we'll start with the hoop. Um, so you can go into Tinkercad, uh, create a new drawing. First thing we want to do is always gives us a crazy name. Change that to basketball hoop. All right, so I would change the name on every drawing you start so you know what you have. Uh, we need to change this over to inches. So down the bottom right-hand corner here, you can see the snap grid set to millimeters. We need to change that to inches. We need to hit the edit grid button. We're going to change this from millimeters to inches, and we need to update grid. Uh, so the snap grid... Whatever we do, anytime you use the arrow keys or drag something, uh, it's going to go by whatever the snap grid set to. In this case, it's an eighth of an inch. So, for the hoop, we're going to need two different shapes. First, let's go ahead and pull out um, a cylinder. Just click and bring it on out. Click again to drop it. Right now, it has 20 sides. To make it look more round, we're going to take the sides and drag those clear up as high as it'll go, which should be 64. And we can show or hide that panel. Um, now that it's at 64, I'm going to hide that for now. The other thing that we're going to need is the ruler. So the upper right hand corner here to the ruler, click once and just place it somewhere down in the lower left hand corner. That way, um, unit should look the same as what I have. So we have our X coordinate here, our Y coordinate here, and our Z here. So if you rotate a little bit, you can see what's what a little bit better. Uh, we need to change this to, and again, as you can see, we're gonna do two and a half by two and a half first ball, and then it's gonna be a half inch tall. So let's do Two and a half, and Tinkercad will not take fractions, so you got to put it in decimal form. So by changing X and Y to be the same, now what we have is uh, an actual circle. Also, um, you can click on the little, uh, I forget exactly what they call this thing, but the cube up here, uh, you can click and hold and rotate around, you can click on certain sides to see you know just that view one thing i'd like you to do at the moment under the cube here we have home view fit the selection zoom in zoom out switch to orthographic view please click it so it switches to the orthographic view okay now the difference is we're looking straight on to this when we're in perspective view uh, we're looking at a little bit of an angle to it where orthographic we're not so be on the top view and in orthographic so the last thing we need to do is make this a half inch so instead of one we'll do 0.5 enter and I rotate a little bit here there we go um, let's go ahead and bring out a uh, cylinder um, the whole cylinder and just drop it toward the center here again um, in the shape panel we want to take the sides and take those clear up to 64 and we can close that panel back out so if you recall this was an inch and a half diameter so we need to do one select it first 1.5 enter Coordinate 1.5, enter. 
height doesn't matter as long as it's at least as tall, at least a half inch. Um, so that's fine. Right now, <clears throat> this is all off centered. What we can do here, and this is going to be a temporary thing, and I'll show you why. But if you left click and drag a box over top of both items, we're going to use the align tool. You can either use the tool up here or hit L. You can see where this will move if you click on the different uh, options here. We want to center it across the y axis, center it across the x axis, and uh, for now, up top, either group or uh, control G to group. That will give us our hole and part of what's going to be our hoop. <clears throat> now we need a box. So grab a box, bring it on out. <clears throat> And the height needs to be the same. It's going to be half inch. So let's change that first to 0.5. Enter. Across the x-axis, it needs to be 2.5 to match up with the size here of the circle. And then for this part of it, we need half of the diameter of the circle. So the whole thing was two and a half, so we're going to need 1.25 or one and a quarter. And we have uh, stuff isn't exactly how we want it. <clears throat> need to move things around. You could either drag a box again or another way you can do it is control A. It'll select everything. So again we're going to do the align tool. Want to center and make sure it's on that back edge. Okay, so if, uh, if I realign to the top here, it should look exactly like this. Um, so at the moment, if we group this, there's half the hole is filled up, which we don't want. So like I said, this hole we put in was going to be temporary. I'm going to select the ring here. We can ungroup which is either control shift G or just hit the ungroup button. Now we can select everything again and just for yet a third way to show you how you can select things. If I click on one item, hold the shift key down, click on the next item and the third item or I can do control A or I can drag a box but just so you know if, if you hold shift you can select multiple items you don't have to do all of them. And now we will group this together. And there is our hoop. So pretty quick and easy here. Um, it's exactly to scale. Everything the way we want it. This is actually how we made it. Uh, and took this and exported it for the laser cutter. And that's how we've been making the hoops for class. But um, for this part, we're going to leave that be. We're going to add in the backboard and put the hole in the backboard just to show you a couple additional things. So bring over a box and just drop it out here in space. And just to take a look here, we need 4 inches tall, 5 and 3 quarters wide, and 3 quarters deep. So this would be our Z, our X, and our Y. Let's go ahead and start with the Z axis, why not? So four inches even. Forty-seven. Zoom out a little bit. Again, the buttons over here, if you're on the Chromebook, might be a little bit easier. Uh, our depth was three quarters or 0.75. Enter. And our width was five and three quarters or 5.75. There is backboard. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to group the hoop and the backboard yet because we're going to put a hole into the bottom of it. And if we do that, when we try to use the align tool, it's going to throw stuff off. So when we're using the align tool, you do need to kind of plan out how things are going to go together. And if, if you accidentally get something that can't be aligned right, you can always ungroup align what you need to and regroup the objects so not that big of a deal but 
Um, so, at the moment here, we need to see the bottom of this. So I can use the little cube over here and click on the bottom. We're going to place a hole right down the center here. So, um, the cylindrical hole. Drag it on out. Drop it where it looks like it's kind of in the center of the backboard. And just to show you here, under the cube, the second button down, fit view to selection, is a handy tool sometimes here. So um, let's change this so the sides are 64. It's nice and much rounder. And we want this to be a 3 8 diameter hole, and it's going to end up being a half inch deep. So there's no diameter tool, which we saw earlier, so we need to make 3 8 here on the y-axis, 3 8 on the x-axis, and then we'll have to do the half inch on our z-axis. So 3 8 I'll save you the time, it's 0.375, enter. Same thing here, 0.375, enter. There's that, and then we need our z-axis to be a half inch or 0.5 enter. So at this very moment, you can see that uh, the hole is facing the right direction. Um, that just it works out well here um, because it wants to sit on top of our work plane or this blue area and if I move it a bit here you can even see it says work plane all right so we want to select the hole I have selected hold down shift and select the backboard do not get the hoop just backboard and hole align tool align button or the L key we want to center across the X center across the Y and since it's already set everything the way we want it, um, just straight group it. There's our half inch deep hole. Okay. The last thing we need to do is get the backboard and the um, hoop lined up together. So handy dandy trick to do that. I'm going to take work plane, drop it on the front of the backboard. So it should look just like that. Now we're going to take the hoop. We're going to hit the letter D as in dog. That um, will drop it down to the work plane. Okay. So uh, absolutely wonderful tool right there. Um, and now I need to also select the backboard. And once again, we're going to use the align tool, L. And what we want to do here is we want to center just across the front of the shape. I don't want to move it forward or backwards. I don't want to move it up or down. It's already clear down. It's needed on that center tab. And if you've done that already, once you do that, you can click out no man's land to get rid of that. Um, if you take a work plane again and just drop it out in white space, <clears throat> work plane will go back to where it was and this isn't really that big of a deal but well first before I say that <clears throat> select both items let's group those together so now this is one solid piece now what I was about to say that isn't that big of a deal but I like to change color since this is going to be made out of wood I just like to turn it brown it doesn't have to be but makes me happy so uh, there you go do that see how to use the different views um, you know the different buttons on the side how to change it into inches uh, just to show you real quick with the snap grid whatever it's set to every time I hit up down left or right that's going to move it by in this case an eighth of an inch I can change that to a bunch of different things but brick is new I don't even know what that means that wasn't there last time I looked. Um, also, if you hold down the control button and use up and down, it will move you in Z space. So that's a wonderful thing to know as well for uh, other projects. We can see our height off of the ground 
over here. And if I want to get back down, I can hit D for drop. There we go. Hopefully this was helpful, and hopefully this will help you complete your projects in class.